Welcome back to the next game between Winchester and Eddie. You have a Spanish one arena. Should be interesting to see. Eddie did not spot his sheep. Can see them now. There we go. Um, let's start with the maps here. Eddie in red again. This is main stone on the left hand side in the back. Second gold quite close. There we got three deer inside. One outside. Might get them all if he wants to. An extra gold close to himself. He could wall this off later on if he wanted to. And a second stone forward. It's outside the main gold quite forward. Uh, one relic inside. Is it one? It's two relics inside for Eddie. There's one close to space, a second one close to space on the other side as well. Extra stone, third gold outside. And actually, uh, despite the fact that Eddie doesn't have a back base, it's not looking too bad for him. I know Eddie likes to go aggressive. We might see fast Imperial Agents from both players. We might see Monk Crush, a few Conquistadors maybe. But uh, Eddie could secure the golds on the left hand side quite easily. Three deer inside is very nice for him, and the two relics inside. Uh, I mean, he doesn't need to go too aggressive if he doesn't want to. Let's see what happens. We have an extra gold here on the map. Uh, again, one more. I've seen one extra gold here, other one as well, but a little bit trapped. So, uh, means like Eddie got one extra gold and nothing else. Uh, nothing extra else for the players. Extra stone also for Eddie. So, um, resources uh, resource wise, Eddie got a little bit more. Uh, question is, can he actually take it safely? Let's go for Winchester. Winchester got one more inside. Second was inside as well. Got three deer outside, it, it seems. Or is it more? I think it's three. One sheep there to, to keep the gate open. Very nice. Main stone forward. That's not too nice. And the second stone outside. It might be a problem for, for Winchester. Uh, especially if Eddie can see this. He might castle drop Winchester and make sure he can't take any gold. This is um, it's not easy to do, a uh, castle drop, but uh, it's possible. Second gold is inside, main gold is in guide, third gold is inside. That's awesome for, for Winchester. So if he's going monks um, and trying to take map control, he can get the castle later on. If he's being rushed, he will have a lot of gold, but no stone, and therefore he's going for stone right now. He's going to go for the castle. Let's see if Eddie is doing the same thing. Uh, Eddie's stone on the left here, the other one was on the left as well, but forward. Eddie is not on stone yet. Uh, Winchester up to feudal age, 26 population. Eddie is uh, 26 and going for stone now. Mm, but uh, clicking up on 27 rather, one village more, 40 seconds behind. That's actually quite something. Eddie had a little bit of idle time. Winchester a little bit better with the uh, the build order apparently. Got three on stone. It's a standard. Is not on gold at all. He's taken 10 gold. He knows he's up to feudal age first, so he's gonna sell the uh, 100 stone and get enough gold in to click up to castle age. But uh, then he needs to go for for gold at a certain point. Let's see where Winchester. Winchester is sending the villages here, going for a mining camp right now, he's up to Castle Age with Market Blacksmith on the right hand side, walling this off a little bit. Now six villages in stone, this one a little bit trapped, I'm not sure about the mining camp, maybe one tile more, more forward, it makes it a little bit easier because this villager can get trapped quite easily, but it doesn't really matter, Winchester resources looking good, Eddie, same stone, Market Blacksmith coming up as well, what can you see, you can see almost everything, you can see the last relic which is also closer to him than to Winchester, while Winchester again only now going out, he can see the deer, he can... Uh, he assumes probably that Eddie got three deer in maybe, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Winchester up to Castle Age. First boss are coming in immediately, and TC on the on the wood line, close to the main goal, but not too close. Can send villager or change villagers whenever he wants. Housed on, on 30 villagers, that should not happen. Doing Town Watch, uh, or not, no, Wheelbarrow instead. Now house is coming up, and he will have enough stone for Castle. Eddie Monastery is up, expected, and the castle coming in uh, up in front of the main goal. Uh, therefore, he's not going, hasn't been going for any more TCs. Might come up later on, and of course, Winchester Scout again on lower HP. So Eddie, if he's going to find it. Uh, is going to try and kill it. Castle now coming up for Winchester in front of the main stone. Expected. You want to have the castles inside your walls, but uh, in a position that your uh, main resources are protected. Eddie, of course, starting to get the relics in. First Conquistador is coming out for him as well. Uh, Winchester going for Kongs too. And got enough stone for uh, TC number 3. If he wants to go that way, actually. Not sure yet. And question is, can he get any relics? Because Eddie can see, I think, all of the relics and he will be able to secure them. There 
there is number two coming in, number three is so close to the castle, it's so, uh, so safe for him. And this one he should be able to protect, he's gonna send Kongs if he can, s uh, we'll see the relics go back. Winchester with a nice snipe here, killing a monk from Eddie, which was trying to get the relic here, but Winchester with less army has to go back for now. Uh, 89 military units, therefore Winchester six more villagers, of course two TCs against one. And TC number three also coming up on the gold here. Should have moved it maybe one tile closer to the wood line, maybe one tile more to the right, but doesn't really matter. And Eddie now with a lot of conquistadors is gonna secure the relic here. Mm, stopped uh, conquistador production because he's probably bought a lot of food. Yeah, food prices going up. Skyrocketing and up to Imperial Age we go, clicking before 22 minutes, 21.46 actually, very nice time. Now Winchester of course is not going fast in Imperial Age, he's gonna boom a little bit, 3 TCs for now, castle is up for him, problem is uh, having a castle and 3 TC boom is uh, kinda dangerous against what's going to happen with uh, Eddie and uh, the fast Imperial Age here. Mm, in Winchester needs to make sure they're surviving long enough and uh, I'm not sure how to counter the conquistadors uh, in Castle Age once Eddie got the superior monks with block printing, illumination, theocracy and maybe on redemption. Mm, but Eddie for now on the way to Imperial Age, let's see what he's actually doing. He's walling uh, the left hand side to make sure he isn't uh, surprise attacked here. Maybe he should even wall uh, in this little gap. And on the right hand side he got the castle so he's fine here. Mm, Winchester doesn't look like he wants to go for any form of, of rush right now. And Eddie up to Imperial Age going for Wheelbarrow. Trebuchet coming out immediately, more monks coming in. And we will see block printing very soon. Yeah, there we go. Block printing. Heresy for Winchester, not the worst idea, problem for him is Eddie got a lot of conquistadors already and is not going fully monk rush. Winchester therefore got a second castle up as well, doing conquistadors now and bloodlines coming in the stable is there as well. Um, double the amount of villagers and five more, even he's on 79, so nice booming for now. Of course the trebuchet is up now for Eddie and he's doing illumination as well. Winchester is gonna try and repair the castle for a little bit, get a few more conquistadors out before he needs to take the fight. Siege workshops, uh, siege workshop coming up, expected. The castle is hitting the conquistadors, that's something that Eddie maybe shouldn't do. He's taking a lot of hits for nothing and I think he doesn't, he didn't even kill a single villager. Husbandry coming in for Winchester which is a very very important upgrade here, taking those fights. You want to have your uh, cavalry and conquistors are a kind of a form of cavalry. We want to go them as fast as possible. Eddie uh, with the scout here can see the villagers run out. He, he's gonna send, or I thought he would, uh, send conquistors maybe. Walls are open and Winchester, let's see. Yeah, Eddie's gonna snipe a few wills here. Four dead villagers for Winchester. Didn't pay attention here. Eddie saw it. Battering Rim's coming up for Winchester and he is slowly but surely starting to collect enough gold for Imperial Age. Uh, the question is if he can actually uh, uh, for this did he kill a monk I'm not sure but he lost conquistador for sure uh, and now Winchester even deleted a few more tiles he wants to uh, he needs or is <laughs> no, he doesn't want to but he is prepared for Eddie to come in Eddie is starting to hit the siege workshop now with the trebuchets he doesn't see the second castle I think Oh yeah, you can see it, but he doesn't attack it yet. And there's the Rams, there's a lot of Conquistors for the plus two defense. Um, Winchester the same, Eddie without bloodlines, and that's a big difference. Uh, Rams and uh, against Conquistor with bloodlines, that's huge. Eddie now of course gonna start and convert, gonna get a few conversions here, but the units are just going to die. And Eddie uh, realizes this for sure, he uh, saw the Winchester did heresy. Problem for Winchester is he needs to snipe the monks down, otherwise the monks are healing the Conquistors really easily. And there we go, Eddie winning this fight, 10 uh, more military units still. Winchester needs to switch into some form of trash, that's uh, for sure. And he's doing another siege workshop, he's doing more barracks, so we might see pikemen yeah, coming in, scaleman armor. And you need the, the, the unit mass uh, just to be able to kill the monks. And if you use a f lose a few of them, yeah, who cares? Winchester again sending a few villages out to get stone. His main stone was run out. No, wait, uh, I still stack in it, but he can't really take it. And Eddie going forward now with all the monks, all the conquistadors he has. I'm not sure if he's going to win this, Eddie. He's got three TCs now up and running. And there were 66 villagers, but Winchester still almost 40 villagers ahead. Ring Archer, I'm a cap from Conscription. Halberdier is done for him. And Winchester now needs to start and, and spam units. He needs to get more military units out. 
out than Eddie has, then he has a chance. Eddie, uh, for now, pretending to go aggressive, but then uh, going back again. He knows he needs to catch up a little bit. Castle coming in front of the stone here. That's the second castle for him. And uh, Bloodlands done for Eddie. I'm not sure. Yep, needed it. So we are going into Imperial Age fight. Eddie with the fast Imperial Age, not successful in killing Winchester early. Winchester for now surviving and uh, with a good amount, a good score lead here, because uh, Eddie lost apparently too many units and Winchester just a very huge eco. Now helps for some play. Conquistor fights both fully upgraded and Cavalier coming in for Eddie. That's an interesting decision. Not sure if it's the right one because Winchester is going helps. And why would you do Cavalier against helps? Um, maybe. Elite Skirmishers hand carrying, yes, something like that would be a good option for, for Eddie, but I don't really know. Winchester with a lot of resources in the bank, doing iron casting, it could go for Elite Conquistadors very soon, and Eddie at the same time, resources quite low, 77 villages now, and Cavalier upgrade, where is it coming in? Is it done already? I oh, don't see it. Not sure if he's gotten it actually. He got no knights out at all. Maybe he cancelled the cavalier and was just showing. Uh, I wasn't sure if actually cavalier was was really. Uh, I guess it wasn't. It wasn't really researched. But he's doing knights now, Eddie. Uh, and that means cavalier was cancelled. Eddie with a good amount of resources in the bank. I think he wants to go elite conquistadors as well. But he's in danger of losing the castle here because two traps from Winchester and of course against the halberdiers. You need to be very careful uh, if the halberdiers are close to your conquistadors. You're going to lose so many of them. Eddie at the same time repairing the castle with like I guess 10, 15 villages at least. And now he's trying to kill the trap. He's going to get one very good. Now he has to go back. One monk is out as well. And Winchester doing sea tram. Elite Conquistadors in the meantime for Eddie, doing it on the left castle probably, yep, there we go. Elite Conquistadors done, those are very strong, there was a converted one. 90 HP now, and Eddie needs to mix trash in as well. While Winchester, uh, Eddie going light cap already, Winchester not Elite Conquistadors yet, instead spamming a lot of whole DLC has got, no, Eddie got more military units even, a few knights out, and I'm not sure what Winchester is doing, why doesn't he have the resources uh, to, to build more units, he's sending Conquistadors uh, all the time, uh, and the helps on there, probably the Sea Tram upgrade cost him a little bit of time here, but Sea Tram is really worth it, because they're taking him so much damage, Eddie uh, trying to convert a few units again, uh, succeeding and a few conquistors are dying at the same time. Uh, villages now 90 to 116 and Eddie's catching up in villages and uh, taking the score lead. It's switching around now. Barracks coming up for Eddie as well. Sea uh, Trim close to the castle but this will go down really fast. Um, Eddie not even with Loom. We might see... Oh, I'd love to see Spanish villages later on. Mm, Winchester, good amount of food. Not too much gold in the bank. Eddie, gold, uh, food really low. Probably because he produced he do light calf now, he's still producing conquistadors, elite ones of course. And starting to get spearmen, no pikemen upgrade yet. Winchester doing tracking for his, uh, the helps, I think it's the line of sight upgrade. Pikemen of course uh, for Eddie now coming in. And Eddie resources quite low. Winchester okay-ish, he has almost got enough stone for another castle. Uh, this should be enough actually. And now the sea trams moving forward on the castle, Eddie has to repair again. I think a castle for Winchester right like right in front of here would uh, turn the fight really uh, really to his favor or maybe uh, close to the gold here for now he is sending this a lot of sea trams and he uh, I think will be able yeah, to destroy the castle Eddie calling GG before this is happening uh, this castle position would have been terrible for Winchester but he wanted to go forward and Eddie realizing my fast imperial age uh, failed I'm trying to come back maybe in a tournament he could have gone a little bit longer but Winchester now with a lot more military units and doing the 3 TC boom was it 4 TC's later? No, I think it's 3 TC's actually and defending against the fast imperial age and then uh, of course fighting back with trash with siege and the conquistadors in the back very strong unit i hope you enjoyed the spanish war very nice one i hope uh, to see a few of them maybe or at least one of them one more in master arena 3 would be awesome and yes yeah, see you in the next game gg